Hey guys, this video is on my KD convertible hacksaw. It has a quick release mechanism and supports 12, 10, 8, 6, 4.5, or 3 inch blades. In the comments on the Gear Wrench Lore video, one of you pointed out this saw in a 1969 KD catalog. It has a full-sized handle, but an extremely short blade. In the advertisements, they said it could cut around corners. That intrigued me, so I had to track one down. There's actually two versions of this saw, so I had to track two down. You can't buy 3-inch blades anywhere for these, so we're going to have to make our own. I got this cheap blade here. I should be able to get three 3-inch three blades out of it. If this ends up being a useful tool for me, I can make some out of a better quality blade later on. I'm going to cut the blade down on the grinder and then kind of round off the cut edge a little bit. Then we need to drill the mounting hole. But you can't just drill a hole through a saw blade. It's hardened steel, so we need to anneal it first. I'm going to heat the part where I'll drill the hole with the microflame torch. We want to get it red hot and then let it air cool slowly. We don't want to heat the whole blade because we want to keep the cutting edge hard. Once that's cooled down, we can measure where our holes need to go and then we'll transfer that measurement to the blade. We'll go about here. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then we can take this to the drill press to drill the hole. I'm going with an eighth inch hole. I can always make it larger later if it doesn't line up. Yeah, that drilled right through. Now let's see if it fits. Looking good so far. Let's lock it down. Here's a better shot of it installed. Yeah, it looks pretty odd with that short blade on there. I guess the next thing to do is to see if it can actually cut around obstructions. I hate having to move my beer out of the way while working. I wonder if this saw can just cut around it. Yep. Let's go over some of the history behind this saw. This saw was designed in 1946 by Harry Culp, who was one of the original founders of KD Tools. The design was a replacement for a 1920s model, which had a large wing nut on the top of the saw. I can see where that wing nut sticking up could get in the way while sawing. I'm going to track one of those down too. Then we'll see if I can unlock dual wield with these in a future video. On the 1946 model, the knurled nut lets you pre-tension the blade and then the lever locks it down. This allows the saw to have full adjustability while keeping a thin profile. This one also has two sets of blade pins, so you can mount the blade on the bottom to do horizontal cutting. The frame is made of 3 16 inch steel and is one piece all the way across to make it stronger. The handle is just stamped sheet metal, but it's surprisingly comfortable. If you want your own, you can find these on eBay. They go for around 20 to 30 bucks. I'm guessing they stopped producing this design sometime in the 70s, so they're all going to be used. I'm going to keep this one here in my shop with the 3 inch blade on it. We'll see if I can find a use for it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for the follow up video where I'll try to dual wield this along with the older style saw. See you later. Bye.